All right, guys. So we got a bunch of new stuff here from BFPV. Uh, mainly, it's going to be the new Express LRS parts. So I'm going to go over all those. Uh, first, I wanted to show you this new uh, six port 1S charger. So this will come as uh, just the charger itself, like you see here. And you can also get it with the wall adapter. So, so the uh, kit that I have here has the wall adapter. And it's USB-C to USB-C and includes a cable. And it charges up to six of the uh, BT 2.0 batteries and also PH 2.0 batteries. And you can choose uh, 4.2 or 4.35 volts. So it's pretty cool. Um, it does a quick charge, um, power delivery 3.0, QC 3.0, all the fast uh, USB charging speeds. So it'll charge up these uh, 1S batteries very quickly and it'll do all six at the same time. I'll have a review out on this guy here pretty soon. The HX115SE has the uh, new all-in-one flight controller board, which is this one here. I will talk about that here momentarily, but this is what it looks like. It's 1S. I'll have a video on this one later. So the Express LRS parts are, you get uh, two of these nano modules. And um, so they come with either the 2.4 gigahertz one here, or you can get the 900 megahertz one. And I believe it'll do 900 megahertz, or uh, you can get a version that's, uh, uh, for the EU, it's 8, 868 megahertz. So I got, of course, the 900 megahertz version for the FCC region, but this is what this uh, looks like. And obviously it's for the nano modules. So um, it basically says here in the manual that it supports uh, most of the normal uh, transmitters. So here it's saying here, X-Lite, Tyrannus X9D Lite, TBS Tango 2. But you can see here that the jumper T light is not supported. And it's because uh, obviously the power issues, uh, these modules draw too much power. And I've done a video on this already on why uh, there's a flaw in this radio in terms of all that. Uh, I have actually several videos on this one already. You can go back on my channel and read up on that or watch those if you want to know why the reasons um, these nano modules don't work properly in here. You can do a power mod, which is what I did in this one here. And once you do that, then uh, you, these modules do work. And I've actually been flying the Crossfire Nano module, no problem, uh, for the last three months, uh, three, four months. And I have uh, put this in here and it works. I have uh, bound it to uh, the all-in-one flight controller board here. And uh, I, can, I can see that it's working. Now, uh, this so this uh, let's start with this one first. So, this is the all in one flight controller board, that's what it looks like. USB C, uh, I think this is 1S only, up to 12 amps and bursting to 25, so pretty uh, huge in terms of the power capabilities. Comes with this antenna because the this one here is the version with the Express LRS receiver, so you just put that on there. Obviously, this is not no video transfer built in on this one, just a Express LRS receiver. So they currently have this in the 2.4 gigahertz Express LRS receiver and another version that has the FreeSky SPI receiver, uh, which is the one that it comes on the HX115SC. As you can see the USB-C port there, that's what this board is. Well, the board that's in here is the FreeSky receiver SPI version in that one. But this one here is the one with the uh, Express LRS receiver. The um, 900 megahertz version of this is not out yet. I think it, they're going to make it, but I'm not 100 sure. They do have 900 megahertz receivers standalone, of course. So here I'm just uh, just show you the board. And this is the underside. Sorry, it's one to two S, F4, 12 amps. Okay, and then this is the 900 megahertz or 915 megahertz nano module. So they come with these, um, obviously this is like a Moxon antenna, I believe. So this one's tuned to 915 megahertz and this one is 2.4 gigahertz. So there's interesting is like how they have a connector here, SMA, 
to the to the nano module, and then uh, this one here has a MMCX to this antenna, and this one has an SMA to this antenna. So it's got dual connectors. I'm not sure if that's uh, necessarily a good thing or not. You guys can let me know down in the comments what you think. I'm sure it's probably losing additional signal from that. So these are the receivers. So you get a, a 2.4 gigahertz receiver and a 900 megahertz receiver. And so they basically are the same size as a Crossfire Nano receiver. They are not as small as the ones from Happy Model and not as light, of course. They do um, work in the same way, it has the built-in Wi-Fi chip, so it has the, the more available chipset, so you can uh, update uh, and connect to it via Wi-Fi. And, um, and you know, obviously it works the same way as a Crossfire receiver, just like the Happy Model receivers. Um, all that is the same in terms of like how to bind it. Basically, you power it on, power it off, power it on, power it off, do it three times, and then you get a flashing double pulsing light on the receiver. That means it is in binding mode. And then you go into your radio using the Express LRS um, Lewis script and go into the um, binding option to activate it, and then it will bind. So it works the same way as the Happy Model system. However, I have not been able to get um, these modules to bind with any of the Happy Model receivers. They will bind with the beta, beta uh, FPV stuff. So the beta FPV stuff binds with the, this stuff here. So I think what they've done is they've compiled the firmware with certain options that obviously they all work together in the beta FPV system. But uh, the Happy Model receivers are, might have been compiled with them differently. So I was thinking, well, I'll just flash these receivers with new firmware with you know the options that I can set myself. However, in Express LRS Configurator, um, these parts don't exist yet. So uh, I'm not sure why that is. I'm trying. I haven't got an ancestry answer about that yet. I'm assuming that they will be added at some point because it's all the same hardware. So I don't see why. It couldn't be in, uh, put in there now. I have considered maybe flashing the Happy Model firmware to these receivers, but I'm like, eh, I don't want to brick it. So I'm going to wait and see. Um, now, of course, you know, all the happy, all the um, beta FPV stuff works with it, with each other. So I can test it, no problem uh, there. It's just that I was hoping that I could just bind it with the Happy Model receivers, and that isn't the case. Obviously, you know, this Express LR stuff is still in beta phase in my opinion and uh they're the you're gonna have the, have these like sort of firmware mismatching sort of issues and um i think that's where the binding problem is i'm just can't get it to bind because everything has to match you have to have uh, matching firmware on the radio um it's got to have crossfire shot it's got to have like all these things um you have to have the uh, correct options selected in express lrs configurator so there's a lot of variables and a lot of things that uh, could potentially go wrong, which is why I haven't made that video yet because I know there's a few people that made videos on how to do all this stuff, but it's still kind of, I don't know, in my opinion, not super elegant. I'm kind of waiting for things to get kind of cleaned up a little bit. I, I think it is getting better, but, you know, for example, like the fact that these parts aren't in Express LRS configurator yet is kind of worrisome. I'm kind of hoping that, uh, I'm worried that, that, I'm a little worried that, that maybe it won't get supported, but I'm pretty sure it will. I mean, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be. But, there was no mention of the GitHub, Git, GitHub, yeah, GitHub stuff in the manuals. So they usually they'll tell you, okay, if you want to do updates, go to GitHub and you can do the firmware updates there. But there's no mention of that in the the printed manuals. Of course, there might be updates and PDF files that you can get on the website. Again, this is questions I have for Beta FPV that I haven't got an answer for yet. I'm um, waiting to hear back from them. So. I will leave um, something in the video description here with that information when I get it. So if you want to check back later. For now, uh, this stuff is available for sale as far as I know. You can buy all this stuff. I know it works together. So if you just want to live within the, the beta FPV ecosystem and you don't care about updating firmware, you can just buy it and it should just work out of the box. And if you do the binding procedure, it, and obviously you have to have supported a supported radio and you have to have... Um, uh, supported uh, firmware on your radio as well in terms of OpenTX. So that's a whole other thing. Go to the Express LRS uh, wiki page and there's a also help there in terms of like what, need, what you need in terms of your radio. Again, you know, it's still a work in progress in my opinion. 
anyway, that's it for now. Um, yeah, I'll have obviously another video for the uh, HX 115 SC later, and also um, I'm going to be doing some testing with this and be putting this into something else, and maybe doing some limited range testing. Nothing too uh, attention attracting, but I'll have that in a, at some point pretty soon. That's it for now. Talk to you guys in the next video.